Welcome into Rogue Football. I'm your host, Jordan DeLugo. Really appreciate you tuning in. Obviously, have not been able to put out content lately. Been watching our newborn as we get prepared to send him off to daycare. We'll be able to uh, get more content out on this channel, Rogue Football, for y'all here in the coming uh, weeks and months. But right now, today, we are talking about who is wide receiver two in the upcoming 2024 NFL draft. I've watched about 20 receivers so far for 2024. And I'm excited to get into my thoughts on who the wide receiver two should be in this upcoming NFL draft. I'm not going to bury the lead here, folks. It really does depend on the flavor that you're looking for, the style of player you want to add to your team, the type of dynamic you want in your locker room, on your football team, in your offense. So there is not one right answer. Obviously, there is one right answer when you talk about who the wide receiver one should be. It's Marvin Harrison Jr., one of the very best prospects I have ever seen, regardless of position. Probably the best wide receiver prospect we've seen in upwards of a decade. Like Marvin Harrison Jr. has it all. Size, athleticism, pedigree, the drive to be elite, a great route runner, a technical route runner, the hands to go up and get the football, body control. It's all there for Marvin Harrison Jr. and his dad just so happens to be a Hall of Fame wide receiver. Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to be a stud at the next level. But the debate for number two is fascinating in my opinion. I think there's several players that you could argue should be the wide receiver two in this class. And again, it depends on, on what you're looking for. You've got Keon Coleman, Romo Dunze, Malik Neighbors, Emeka Egbuka. For me, all of these players deserve a seat at the table in terms of wide receiver two. And there are a couple other guys who I could understand if you made an argument for. You know, looking at Xavier Leggett, absolute freak, Brian Thomas, unbelievable talent as well. Personally, I don't think those two have proven quite enough to be in the conversation with these these players. Again, Keon Coleman, Romo Dunze, Malik Neighbors, and Emeka Egbuka. Some talented wide receivers in this class. No doubt about it. I think from a pure separation standpoint, if that's what you're looking for, a guy that can just get open at will, I think you're looking at Malik Neighbors. I think he's uncoverable in college football right now. He is explosive as hell in and out of his breaks. He runs like the wind. He has enough mass and size and coordination, body control, to also be super competitive at the catch point and contested catch situations. He is an awesome wide receiver and producing at an extremely high level for the LSU Tigers. He's about six foot, about 195 to 200 pounds. So not the biggest wide receiver you're ever going to see. But again, from a separation standpoint, this is your guy. He gets open at will. And you've got Keon Coleman, right? Transferred from Michigan State to Florida State. If you're looking for more of a bully ball prototype, Keon Coleman is your guy. A big receiver, six foot four, 215 pounds, great high point ability, He's physical as hell as a route runner and as a ball carrier. He is special with his twitch at his size. Again, at six foot four and 215 pounds, he has legit twitch and quickness, and he has more than enough speed, again, at that size to really make you pay. He can run routes at his size. He's dynamic with the ball in his hands. The basketball skills, they show up in his game every time you watch him. Was a really good basketball player. And then you've also got the fact that He's an amazing punt returner as well. Super explosive. The twitch shows up there. He's constantly leaving guys in the dust with his ability to make them miss in the open field. So that's what makes him particularly special. Not only can he go up and get those jump balls, go rebound it for you, but he can make you miss in the open field and and he can run routes and he can separate late with physicality in his route running. I think you look at Romo Dunze out of Washington, kind of a blend of both of those players in my opinion. I think he brings more speed, a little more separation ability than Keon Coleman does, but he's not quite as physical as a route runner. But he absolutely can be an offensive engine at the next level, and he catches everything thrown his way this year. He can go up and get it with the best of them. Extremely fast. Was a high school track champion. Almost never goes down on first contact after he catches the ball. Remo Dunze is a super special talent at six foot three and 217 pounds. He does, he does not move like a 217-pound receiver. I mean, you could see him running and think this might be like a 200-pound guy. That's how fast and and how graceful Romo Dunze is running out on the football field. And then you've got Emeka Egbuka, who I think his name has kind of cooled a little bit. His 
missed some time with injury this year. Not as flashy as the rest of these guys, but I think inside-outside versatility, he is the most reliable of the bunch from a consistency perspective um, catching the football. You know, he catches everything that he's supposed to catch. Every one of these other guys, they've put the ball on the ground a couple times here or there. Not a Mecca Egbuka for the most part. This guy is the most consistent hands catcher in this draft, in my opinion. Probably the most technical route runner of this bunch of players as well that we've talked about. And he does have good enough size. You know, he's a little over six feet tall, a little over 200 pounds. He does have good athleticism. I expect him to run in the four fours and test well when it comes to quickness and other key uh, testing points at the combine for wide receivers. He's just not overwhelming in either of the er the areas that really get people excited, right? Which again is size and athleticism. But I think he's going to be a fantastic starting receiver at the next level. And again, if you're looking for consistency, I think Emeka Egbuka brings the most consistency to the field of any of these players. And there is a long list of other receivers that deserve to be mentioned in the early rounds this year. And we will get to those players. Uh, but this is my basic thought process on wide receiver to pick your poison, which style of play does your team need? Cause I really do believe all of these guys are going to come in and be difference makers at the next level for whoever picks them. As long as they're dropped into good situations and they, they land with coaching staffs that know how to use their skill sets. Again, think of Mecca egg Buka. You move him inside, you move him outside, move him all around the formation. He's a great route runner with good size and very, very good hands, reliable hands and a great technician. I think that he's going to be reliable for you. I think if you want to play bully ball, you go get Keon Coleman. If you want the elite separator, you go get Malik Neighbors. And if you want a combination of both of those guys, Romo Dunze is the man for you. So really appreciate y'all tuning in. Would love to know what y'all think about these wide receiver two thoughts hit me up on twitter at jordan delugo you can also drop a comment in the comment section below please like subscribe hit that notification bell if you enjoy the content really appreciate y'all tuning in